Hey guys, Jim Blevin here, and came back with some more Elgarian Skies. Today is episode 5, and today what I have for you is, I'm going to actually be showing you a cool tree that I found while I was doing some shifting. I'm sorry for a little bit of late episode of the Elgarian Skies series, guys, and of course not uploading for about 4 days now. I was just really busy, I was actually doing a little bit of work on a few other things. Uh, homework was really t tough and stuff like that, and yeah, I just, um... I was I was just doing so much stuff over the the course of forever, so um, yeah, it was it's just re it was really hard for me to upload, and I finally now I finally was able to upload today, uh, which is really really good. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of work done, uh, from the past forever, which is pretty good. I did some um, work right here, so now we have some rubber trees. As I said before, I was doing some shifting with some dirt, and pretty much while I was doing that shifting sifting. Uh, using uh, pretty much this oak steve right over here. Uh, I luckily got like this rubber tree thing right up here. I'll show it to you. Um, it's rubber tree seeds, and pretty much what they give you is they give you two different types of rubber trees. Uh, like, uh, let's just go here. So that's rubber sapling, and that's, uh, is there one that says, yes, yeah, sacred rubber sapling, and then rubber sapling. I have no clue what the difference is, but it's definitely maybe something cool about each one, or they're probably maybe just identical. Uh, but yeah, we got some rubber trees, and what's really cool is when you go ahead and you go and mine them, you actually get, um, a byproduct too, in a way, like, not really like a byproduct, but you get, like, rubber from the tree, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I've been just doing a little bit of, uh, pretty much, uh, just, like, harvesting the trees and stuff like that, and it's it's actually been really well, um, because now this rubber, if you smelt it a lot and you do some things with it, you can actually make it into plastic, and that's what's used to make a lot of automatic machines, so that's going to definitely be a really, really good use in the future. Uh, the melon farm's been going pretty well, uh, and the mob farm definitely really well, too. Let me just show you those loot loot drops really quickly. Uh, they've been actually really amazing now. Um, so yeah, I'm, pr I'm just really happy about that. Uh, and now we actually have two iron. I think we had one last time, and now we have two, which is really good. Uh, it's been giving a lot of iron. I'm hopefully, oh, sorry, I'm hoping for about five iron so we can make a hopper to add to that chest right over there. Uh, but yeah, that's going to definitely be good because then I don't have to um, pretty much uh, just come there and like go over here. And once I go over here, I have to like Go like this and remove everything and then put it into this chest right over here. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to do that a lot. So it's definitely good to have a hopper leading to it so it's all automatic or whatever. And the hunger chest is like a hopper, but of course it doesn't let stuff go down and only eat stuff and puts it in the chest. Um, yeah, I haven't really done much on the uh, pretty much the base structure or anything like that. I've just been leaving it here. Um... And not really doing much, as I said before. I really don't know what uh, happens if you put rotten flesh here. I'm going to definitely have to experiment that because I believe it turns into some kind of food source. And if that's better than melons, I may do that uh, because I have a lot of uh, what's it called rotten flesh here and I really have no clue what to do with it. And it's not, it's a good food source. Like when I eat it, like I'll show you it really quickly. Um, you just take one. If I do eat it, it's not that bad. It gives you like half a hu hunger, so. It's, it's, it's like, not that bad, but, um, of course it has a chance of giving you, uh, what's called hunger poisoning, which is not really good because now I'm gonna actually start to lose hunger, which is really bad, uh, and you actually can't eat, unfortunately, while you have hunger, uh, well, like, the hunger thing is on, which is really weird, uh, unfortunately, like, I'm trying right now, uh, but yeah, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely see what happens if I leave those up for a long time, um, there's not much to talk about, guys, unfortunately, because, uh, oh my god, we're just losing a ton of hunger. Okay, there we go, I can eat now. Uh, so, there, like I said before, there's not much to talk about, guys. I've been just, uh, pretty much waiting for the mob farm to kick in. We're gonna be starting to do some quests probably next episode, um, of their, uh, where's my quest book? I think I put it in one of those chests over there. Uh, I was just doing a little bit of mining here, and just in case I didn't want to lose it. Um, but... Yeah, so I'm going to definitely um, start doing quests and stuff like that. Get a lot of those resources for next uh, episode and everything like that. Uh, but like I said before, I was doing a lot of mining over here. And um, just pretty much working on uh, getting a lot of melons because I do need a lot. Uh, because I'm planning on pretty much doing this giant blizz in a way where I just put a lot of melons inside of, uh, what's it called? 
right over here. Let me just go inside really quickly. Uh, I'm going to put a lot of melons pretty much in here and constantly do this uh, a lot. And just over and over and over until we have about, like another stack of dirt. Uh, because I definitely want to get a few stacks of dirt, guys. Because I'm planning on making one giant um, pretty much wheat farm. Uh, and about the hint that I've been working on, guys, I said that I was busy doing homework. I was also busy doing a few other things, like looking on which games I should play, downloading a few other games uh, that we're going to be playing soon, and they're going to be pretty cool, uh, like giant series that I'm starting on my channel with like all these different games I'm going to be starting. But of course, this won't wreck my Elgarian Skies. It's going to be fine with that. Um, but yeah, that is, I, I don't know, there's not much, unfortunately, to talk about, guys. This will be a short episode today, unfortunately. Uh, I really thought of wanting to give you guys at least, uh, episode today, because I don't even think I did one for a long time. I've been doing them, actually, a lot for a while. I think I did one, like, uh, after a day or something like that. I did one, and then, like, 24 hours later, I did another one, which is pretty good. Uh, so that's gonna be, like, a little, uh, I don't know, some leisure for, um, being this being a short episode today so yeah unfortunately it isn't it is a short episode today guys so that is pretty much it for this video guys make sure to check out the next Elgarian skies when it comes out that's probably gonna be the one of the best ones because that's gonna be with quests and every single possible thing uh so that's gonna be really cool guys so yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys uh as always guys if you do enjoy the series and you want to see more make sure to smack that like button if you like this video guys make sure to hit the subscribe button make sure to apply to the jimbo craft network for a 70 percent revenue share but that's the you guys this has been jimbo 11 and i'll see you guys later bye